This is Quasar Science, making virtual studio production more accessible. Welcome from Las Vegas, Nevada, here at NAB Show. Oh wait, we're not at NAB, right? I think we're in a different country, I think. Oh, but it looks like Vegas, so what's happening? Magic. Magic. Hollywood. Hollywood. So actually, we're here at BSC in London. I'm here with Tim. How are you? I'm doing very well. Well, this looks very convincing. Where are we right now and what is this? So this is our, our volume, LED volume demonstration. Um, LED volumes have become a very popular feature, or not feature, a uh, technique that is starting to evolve and grow as a viable technique for filmmaking, which is basically a better rear projection technique. So what we're trying to show here is you should not light with volume walls. You should still use proper uh, lighting fixture, lighting techniques. Except if you still want to have all the same inter interactivity to volume, you need to have that inter interactivity with your light. So we've done all the hard work and engineering to figure out how can you start doing what, we, what is becoming a coined term, um, image-based lighting. We actually just take the same video or any video source and you put it on your fixtures. How can you get the color right, the spectrum right, which is more important than anything else. Um, and how, how can you tie, tie in your talent and everything to the background and to the world. So. so when we talk about virtual production, most people think about the Mandalorian, like these high budget yeah. Hollywood productions, yeah. and they don't think it's anything that's really attainable right, for exactly. the average production. Yeah. I think what you're proving here that it is possible. I mean, yeah. this is, I mean, it's essentially a huge TV, right? It's a big TV, and, and I mean, there are different stratas, you know, there's different strati or different levels of production, right? I mean, Mandalorian is a massive stage, you have camera tracking, and you have VFX artists still doing work to make everything happen for a big budget show, but even for a setup like this, where you can even just have not even a LED volume one. I mean, this this for me is the most convincing yeah. example. It looks like <laughs> yeah. we're standing in front of a very relaxed way in, a, in front of a burning house. <laughs> yeah, and and it's like, it wasn't our house. Lives. It's not our house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the idea here is like even news crews or, or a news station, you can still have a live video feed and, and shoot the, let's say, a video element live and pump it to your, your fixtures somehow. Uh, and and picks, you know, if our fixtures, the, the Quasar Rainbow uh, 2 and Rainbow, double rainbow fixtures, we can pixelate with a great amount of detail and with color fidelity. But that's still. Um, you could still do it with many other types of fixtures, as long as you have the right tools to do it. So it, it's really more a matter of the know-how, again, yeah. and, and understanding that it, it, rear projection has existed for yeah. 100 years. Yeah. We know how to do rear projection, and you just keep doing the same techniques. Yeah. So, yeah. But of course for actors it's something different when it, they it's actually... So much better. It's yeah. so much better than green screen yeah. or blue screen. Exactly, and, and that's the whole point of all this. this, is the power of all this, is that before rear projection started having issues in terms of it just didn't sell as well, that's why people started doing green screen, right? So. Um, and, but now again, it's starting to come back because you can you can see here that it's become much more of a believable technique again. Yeah. So, yeah. So you mentioned to me beforehand that actually you spend a lot of the lockdowns in <laughs> COVID times yeah. actually developing the technology yeah. around this. Yeah. So it's a lot of math. It's a lot of understanding the physics behind how do you first of all correctly map the physics to the colorimetry. So these are big terms here. But when you're talking about what does red mean, what does green mean, what does blue mean? Uh, there needs to be some sort of spectrum tied to it because the camera doesn't just expect a color, it expects a certain spectrum. So we tried to deliver and map the absolute spectrum to every single point of color that a light, our lights can produce. So that took a long time to figure out how, what's the best way to do it, what's the fastest way to do it, the most simple way to do it. Um, and once we figured that out, then it's the same exact color management methods to doing video. Right, that's what all the, everyone knows in post, it's well documented, well, pretty well understood, well, somewhat well understood. <laughs> but to be able to do that with lighting fixtures is new. So, but now yeah. you could, in theory, uh, whatever computer you have hooked up to that screen, yeah. could I play back any type of video yeah. and those lights would match the light from there, right? Exactly, yeah, because it's basically we've mapped the same exact exposure, or sorry, same exact color, colorimetry that a video screen would be doing and just tie the correct spectrum to it. And on top of that, let's say you wanted to change your color temperature of your camera, your yeah. white balance, you want to shoot at, let's say, 3200 Kelvin, 
um, you can white balance the fixtures yeah. to do that as well. Wow. Yeah, and not even have the background. You can even just do the fixtures on their own yeah. and do whatever. It, 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 because they're lighting fixtures. Yeah. You know, this is what you expect out of lighting fixtures. So, and, and what's the plan now? I mean, this isn't the finished product, is it? I like, I like, it's not like people can buy the KZR uh, lights with your software. Well, yet, no, this right? is the firmware in, this is the firmware okay. that it natively will be able to, it, it natively can do it wow. at, with our fixtures. You just have to be able to send it the right data. So we could just take in RGB DMX data, yeah. package it however way, there's so many ways you can pa package DMX to send it to a fixture, but we yeah. can take it all the different methods and, and, and wiring and all that stuff in to be able to communicate all this data to the fixture. Super so. cool. So in the end, yeah. this will be a product that people can just buy as an add-on, or is it part, is it like part of the firmware, and, it, and you don't need any, it, I mean, you just it, use a normal. It just works. It, it, it's just cool. how, the, how the fixture works. It's just, when you send the RGB data, yeah. it's just using the correct color Already. information and all, natively. So, so people yeah. don't have to do all the mapping and all that kind of That's stuff. That's the whole point of it. You, you did it for I, them. I did it during the <laughs> lockdown, two years, with two kids, my <laughs> wife, in a tiny apartment oh, cool. in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, you what am I going to do with myself? So. Yeah. That's really cool. All, besides also baking with uh, sourdough bread and getting into all that again. Yeah, it was wonderful. But yeah. I would say it paid off. I mean, yeah. it's very, very convincing. First time I saw this yesterday, I was like, wow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and, well, it's like we are on the beach. Yeah, and, and the most important thing is that it's not just, a, again, about just real projection technique. It's image-based lighting. Like, you yeah. can use... That's what I always dreamed about as a cinematographer yeah. and as gaffer, that you you always wanted to be able to recreate the real world to be your, your light yeah. light source. So now we can do that. Oh. Now you can just get a video, a picture, yeah. and you move it around, you move get a, you get the you get an array of our fixtures, you can move it around just like That's you would with Photoshop. Yeah. And it's just more realistic that way. I would love to have that in our CineD studio. I could do so many things with this. <laughs> we'll talk about how to get that to work. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. brilliant. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. Thank you so well, much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, I guess I'll see you at NAB. Yeah. Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're here right now, right? Oh, we're, no. Oh, we're, no. We're, we're back at the fire. Scene. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for right, watching. Like Stay tuned to CineD right. for a lot more reviews uh, from here and NAB in two or three weeks' time. And yeah, see you soon. All right. Bye. Cool. Thank you so much.